Let's have a quick look at strut model prisms. We introduced this functionality in Manscaped version 7 in order to improve visualization capability for our users. Strut model prisms is basically 3D representations of modeled seam. In Manscaped 2021, to create prisms for your model, you'll have to go into strut model ribbon under prisms group and click new. The form is very simple to fill out. You just need to specify your schema name, the model type, and quality model if you have one. If you don't, that's not compulsory. In the controls, you just specify the smoothing you would like to have, which is very similar concept to your contouring. And if you would like to limit your model, you specify the spec here as well. Please apply prefix name for your CSV and triangular prisms files that will be created as a result of execution of this functionality. Optionally, you could also output prisms into design file, but that's not compulsory. Once the form is executed, it will take some time to create the prisms file, and the bigger the model is, the longer that will be. But typically, it's the same as a contouring. So once the form is executed, you can find those files, Prism files created in your data folder in your project. You can see in here, I have different seams and different CSV files, which is basically my Prisms. And on the screen, you can see Prisms visualized right now for my small model, all called seams. And what I can do from here, as a geologist, I really love this case of using the prisms for validation of my model. So I can quickly inspect where the drill holes intersections with seams happen and how my model is built. And if there are any deviations, I can pick them visually straight away. So if I start zooming, you can see that the coal seam intersection with my drill holes is pretty good with this model. And here is the fault area. You can see it around. I'll just rotate it a little bit for you so you can see the fault is happening in here. But my intersection is still pretty good. And with this one, you basically can use any settings, visualization settings. So right now, entire model is visualized for me. So let's say I want to do cross-section for it. So I'll just go into CAD functionality, CAD ribbon under the view and in here in dynamic slicing group I can say slice and I just do slice from here to here and Q to quit. So now you can see that there is a slice and I can start dragging the slice and I can just drag through the model or if I want to stay here then I just rotate and have a look where the drill hole intersection happen and if that's actually aligned with my model. And in here you can see that the floor and the roof is doing all right with this couple of seams. So it's all looking quite good for this model. So this is just visualize, visualizing entire model, but we actually have a different options. So let's just close this section. I just remind you to close the dynamic slicing section. You have to go into planes and just untick it and it all will be back to your screen. So now let's remove all my prisms from the screen. I'll just hide them all and leave just my drill holes. And let's cover some of the other options in visualization of strut model prisms. So I moved back to my strut model ribbon. And in here, let's, let's have a look at set parameters menu. So it basically says what I would like to visualize and how. So right now I have to use all those seams when I visualize, or I can simply tick visualize, visualize all seams. And here how big my section is and how big my radius is. So let's 
have a look at this radius. So right now it's set to 100. So now I go to graphics and in under graphics, I have options either to use existing element from design file or just to create a new one. So for example, I choose pick area around the point. If I pick the area around the point, I do this, snap to the drill hole, and you can see that it represents the model around this drill hole. So I can have a look again if the model aligned with my drill hole. And now let's try to change radius here to, to 200 and you see here it says spot shape south east and let's do it north west just completely the opposite let's say okay and now i will go again to the same options click it now you see the area visualized area is much bigger and this kind of free bit it's now north west rather than south east so that's basically the settings we also could do a section here, just a normal section. Oh, sorry, I just did pick the existing line. So what do we want? We want to draw section line. So let's just do from here to here and Q to quit. So this was, will visualize your section from drill hole to drill hole, sort of a section line. Hope this functionality is useful for you and happy modeling. Mm -hmm.